If you want to take part in the New Talent Intro competition at the Get Ready for Love Bite stream, there's a few things you need to know. In this video, we're going to cover how to submit an entry to the Get Ready for Love Bite New Talent Intro competition. Love Bite itself is taking place from the 10th to the 12th of February, so hopefully you'll have an entry or more for this too. The Get Ready for Love Bite stream is happening on the 14th of January on the Twitch stream for one night only, and it will include a talk show with Aldroid and guests, it'll have an intro show, the Nano Award nominees will be announced, there'll be a DJ set, and of course, the reason you're here, the new talent intro competition, and Bite Gems, and more. So let's talk about the new talent intro competition. The new talent competition is a 256 byte fantasy console competition. So you can use TIC80, Pico8, Micro W8, any type of fantasy console that you can get a file size in 256 bytes. The file size will be checked and you should check out Tiny Code Christmas Day 10 for more information on packing your entry to make sure that you get it down to those 256 bytes. There's a maximum of two entries per person. Your entry must not have been previously released at a party. And generally, it's something that should be debuted at the party. Now, if you've been taking part in Tiny Code Christmas and you've been sharing stuff on Twitter or Mastodon or something like that and you're reworking it and want to submit it, that's fine in this case, but generally it would have to be something that's completely unreleased and unseen. And to classify as new talent, you must not have finished in third place or greater at a demo party previously. So let's go through the checklist of what we need to do. The hardest part is making something, and hopefully you have that part taken care of. So the next things that we're going to talk about are preparing your submission. So you need a screen capture of your entry, and we need to create a zip file with our entry. We need to get a vote key which will allow us to register for the party system, and then we have to upload our entry to the party system. If you need help or clarification at any point on any of these things, please reach out to the organisers on Discord, Twitter, Mastodon, or by email. We'll be more than happy to help. So, you need to submit a video of your entry. And this needs to be about 30 seconds long. Long, it can be longer if it's required to show the effect. For example, maybe you have a scroller, or you have an effect that evolves over time. But generally, if it's a simple effect, 30 seconds is enough. To record your video, OBS software is recommended for capturing your video. And there is some links in the description of this video to other videos that will help you capture your screen with OBS. On Windows, there's also the option of the Xbox Game Bar, and you can then trim your videos after with the Photos app. You may want to clip out the, the start of the video or the end of the video where you're starting and stopping the recording. And on a Mac, you can use Command Shift 5, which will open the capture tools and again, you can trim that video after it's recorded with Quick Look or the QuickTime Player. When you're finished with the video, you'll need to upload it to the web someplace that the organizers can access it. And this might be a Google Drive um, where you share a link or Dropbox where you share a direct link. And you need to include this link when you're uploading your entry. So the next thing we need to talk about is the zip file. So you need to create a zip file and it should be a .zip file, not a RAR or a 7-zip. And it needs to have your .tick file your .pa.rom file, your actual entry. You can optionally include the source code if you wish. For example, if you're packing your TIG80 production, the packer will remove comments and stuff like that. But if you'd like to uh, include a copy that's not minimized and has comments and stuff like that, you can do that. Next thing is the file underscore ID dot dis file or a readme.txt file. And that just gives some context as to the contents of the zip file and what's in it. So. File ID.dis is an older format. It's just a plain text file going back to the BBS days and it's 45 characters wide and ten, no more than 10 lines. And this should just include your nickname, name of your production, where you released it, what platform it's running for, these kind of things. And you can include one or two other bits and pieces of information if you need. You also need the screenshot. You need to include this in the zip file, but also need to upload this to the party system. Screenshot in TIC80, F8 or F6 in Pico8. You should always use descriptive file names. NewTalent.zip doesn't help differentiate it from all of the other entries. So your zip file should at least contain your nickname and maybe the release name. This will also help link your release up on other websites. Once you have your zip file, you need to get a vote key. And a vote key allows you to vote in competitions and it also allows you to submit entries for competitions. You'll need to request a vote key from the organizers. You can get your vote key on the Love Byte Discord. There is a vote key request channel. Email us or you can DM us on Twitter and Mastodon. And the vote key essentially helps ensures one vote per person. So to register for the party system, you need to go to woohoo.lovebyte.party. Woohoo is the name of the software that manages the entries. Navigate to that website, click login slash register. So you can pick a username and password. These will just be used for logging in. You'll need to 
pop in the vote key that you've gotten from one of the organizers and then you need to put in your nickname your handle and then if you're a part of a group you can pop that in as well you can check the box as to whether you want to appear on the visitor listing and essentially if you go to a who you can click visitors and it just shows a list of nicknames so once you've registered for the party system you can now log in using the same username and password there's no lost password functionality built into Woohoo, but you can contact an organizer if you run into that difficulty through the same channels that you requested the vote key. Now all that's left to do is upload your entry. So click upload your entry from the menu at the top of the website, select the new talent competition and enter the title of your product, enter your nickname of the author if you collaborated with someone you can put in both of those names and then a comment and then this will be shown on the competition slide before your entry and after your entry briefly. For example here, a cool effect in 256 bytes made with Tick80. So you might want to just give a bit of context or a bit of a description as to what's going on here. And again, you could use this to uh, say hello to some people as well, if you wanted. Comment for the organizers. Now again, this won't be shown anywhere. This is just that it shows up in the admin interface. What we want you to put in here is the link to the video capture. If you don't have access to either of those and your capture video capture is small enough, you could include it in the zip file as long as it's below the maximum file size. But again, it's preferable if you include it as a link. So you'll hit choose file here and you'll choose your zip file. And you also want to upload a screenshot. Now we did include one in the zip file, but this screenshot is for the party system. And the party system will show this slide when you are looking at your own entries so that you can easily identify which one is which. And depending on how the person is voting, if it's live voting, it won't be shown, but if someone is voting after the competition has finished showing, they may want to be reminded of what your entry looks like. So it's always good to put a screenshot there so that people can remember. And then don't forget to hit go. So what's next? Enjoy the show and check social media for updates. After the show, your files will be spread to the scene.org archive. And this happens after almost every demo party. Then the fine volunteers at DemoZoo will create an entry on demozoo.org and you can feel free to add a screenshot and some extra links or something like that. Generally, the DemoZoo entry will be created by volunteers, but usually you'll add it to pwet.net yourself. Don't forget to tune in to our special streaming event on the 14th, where your new talent intro competition entries will be shown and you'll be given the chance to vote. There's a lot more content in this as well, so if you haven't watched the demo party before, this is a great way to get a taste of what Love Bite itself is going to be like. And again, if you've enjoyed putting your entry together for the new talent intro competition, that registration to the party system is also valid for Love Bite in February. You know what to do. We'd love to see you participate. Best of luck.